Hey guys, tonight I'm going to be showing you how to check your vehicle for a refrigerant leak. So in our 2013 Honda Odyssey, we've been noticing that the air conditioning has been having trouble keeping up with the hot weather rolling in. And um, we've been checking and we've been having to refill it with refrigerant every week or so. So what I've done is I went out and bought a special can of refrigerant. Uh, you can check these out there at Walmart, AutoZone, just about anywhere that sells auto parts. And this one is special because it has a UV dye that whenever it's dark and you're able to use a, a UV flashlight, uh, you'll be able to see a nice bright green color around if there's any leaks in your system. So what we're first going to do is we're going to turn the van on and crank the AC down to low and the, um, the air on high so that we can get everything moving on in the refrigerant lines. So now that we've got it started, you want to locate your low pressure port that's indicated by an L right here. I know it's difficult to see. The high pressure has the thinner tube the low pressure has the thicker tube. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this cap. We're gonna take our can, I've already got it, got it hooked up with a, a gauge. And we're gonna take the connector and hook it into our low pressure port right here. Nice in there. And we're gonna watch this dial. And you can see it's actually very, very low here. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn this over, I'm going to give it a few squeezes and shake the can a little bit so that I get plenty of refrigerant in there It's full of dye. Once this is finished, we're going to unhook the connection and then we're going to drive around for just a little bit to make sure that the refrigerant gets a chance to really flow through and seep out of any of those leaks. All right, so now that we've driven it around, uh, I've got the lights all turned off. I've got my UV flashlight on. It's very difficult to see, so I apologize. But you want to follow your lines. So there's the low pressure and there's the high pressure. You want to follow all your lines all throughout the engine bay. You want to check to see if they're giving off any glow. I do apologize for how out of focus the video is. It's very difficult for the iPhone to focus on things that are not well lit. But looking up inside there towards the passenger side of the van, I'm not seeing anything. So I'm going to follow the lines down. Go down here towards the very front of the vehicle. And then Fairly difficult to see, but you might be able to faintly see there's a big spraying of dye down there. So it's right there next to this passenger side fan. So we're gonna come out here and we're gonna look through the very front of the grill. Sure enough, you guys can see it. There is a large amount of green dye all over the condenser right there. So try and get it in focus here. If you'll notice, there's a connection right there towards the bottom of the screen. And I'm pretty sure that that is leaking. So it could be just an O-ring, not sure, but we've got about 90,000 miles on the van. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the whole condenser anyways. Um, but this is probably one of the uh, most effective as well as kind of fun <laughs> uh, ways of detecting a leak if you have any refrigerant levels that are going down constantly. Um, the vehicle's air conditioning system is a closed system so you should never need to recharge the refrigerant. Um, if there is, if, there, if the levels are going down ever, that means you do have a small leak somewhere. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in a separate video, I'm going to go ahead and take this all out and replace my condenser. But I hope you guys liked this video. Um, make sure to comment with your questions or suggestions on how you were able to do this or if you have 
any issues. Um, but uh, go ahead and hit subscribe for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.